So in enrichment this week, we are going to be looking at inferences um, and making inferences, which is what we learned last week. So we're starting by using Kami. So if we read the directions, it says, watch the instructional video on how to use Kami, which is this one you're watching right now. Then it says, open inference assignment and answer questions. Follow the schedule below using Kami. Okay, so I first want you to open the inference worksheet. It says PDF via Kami. And now you're in a PDF, but you have to go over here to this little blue um, rectangle that says open with Kami and you need to click it. Okay, so it's loading right now. And this has a lot of tools on the left-hand side that you can use to complete this, okay? So let me read the directions. Read each passage and then respond to the questions. Each question will ask you to make a logical inference based on textual details. Explain your answer by referencing the text. So remember, an inference is a good guess based on the evidence you have. So think about when we were talking about Calvin and Hobbes and the inferences that we made based on the evidence we had in those comments. You're going to do the same thing with these um, little text pieces, okay? So Monday is going to be the first one. You're gonna do questions one, two, and three after you read this. And so how do we type in this? How can we type our answer? Well, it says, what type of job does Paul do? Okay, well, I have not read the text yet, but let's say Paul is a construction worker. I'm gonna go over here, I wanna enter that, and I'm gonna put a text box, and I want black font, and I'm gonna type right here. So now I have a text box, and I can write, Paul does construction work. I don't know if that's the right answer, um, but we're gonna pretend. So that answer is done. And then how do I know this? Okay, I need to do another text box. So I click text box, I'm gonna use black ink, and I put a box here. So um, I know this because of the evidence and whatever that evidence is. Okay, so I have two questions done. So every time you are going in to write something, you have to make a text box. You can also highlight things. So I believe this is the highlighter. This is the highlighter color. So maybe I wanna highlight Paul took off his muddy boots. I can highlight that. So all of these tools you can use in your document here. You are not going to turn it in. So I have the, the teacher account Yours will have a button over here that says turn in. I don't want you to turn it in until we are finished with it on Friday, okay? So Monday, you're gonna do questions one through three. Tuesday, you'll do four and five. Wednesday, you'll do six and seven. Thursday, you'll do eight, nine, and 10. And then Friday is the day to kind of go back and make sure you have completed those. Um, I believe there might be a save button where you can save your work so far. So at the end of Monday, Let's say you complete all these answers, you can save it, okay? So that way you can come back to it on Tuesday. Now, what if I don't like this and I wanna delete it? There's a little X right here and I can just click that. I can click that and that deletes my work. And then I just have to add another text box to start over, okay? So please make sure that you um, kind of test out these tools. And for Monday, you're just doing questions one, two, and three.